Coach, uh, offensive philosophy, you talked about traditions here. Yeah. Can you talk about your philosophy and how that compares to you know, what people have been used to seeing? Uh, well, you know, they've played great defense here for a long time. Uh, but the things that I know that we're going to have to, to hang our hat on, number one, we're going to have to do a great job in stopping the run uh, because if a team can can run the football against you, that's a, that's a headache that won't go away. And I also think that's a real physical barometer for how, how physical a football team you are by what you do defensively as far as stopping the run. Uh, the, other, the next area is that uh, you got to affect the quarterback uh, because with the precision of the throwing games and the quarterbacks and these – these passing combinations are just too good now. Or if you let them, you know, sit back there and pat the ball, you're going to—they're going to complete balls. And then you got to defend the long ball. And if you can do those three things, uh, you'll play great defense and win a lot of games. And uh, that's—that's kind of what we're focusing on. Uh, and I would term us being multiply aggressive. Does the personnel that you have have you had enough time to evaluate the personnel to know if it will fit mesh with your system? Well, here's here's what I know. I've coached in a, a bunch of different schematical deals yeah. uh, and to say that I'm tied to this system I'm not okay. and to evaluate our personnel and part of the deal with with that is to, to ask things and to put kids in position to be successful and not try and put a square peg into a round hole so that's what I'm in the process of doing and have been doing um, when I got here I uh, had the, uh, the GAs uh, make a 10 play highlight tape of each kid that we have returning so that when I'm able to, to meet him and pull him in the office to for a one-on-one -on -one to talk about what I've seen on tape and uh, you know after conferring with Larry and Ron about uh, personnel as well you know what we need to do to move forward to to be great. You said the phrase that multiply aggressive do you like man-to-man -man coverage with the cornerbacks do you like to jam guys at the line of scrimmage they've had a little bit of a history of here of giving some cushion on receivers. If we got guys that can do it I love man-to-man -man coverage and I love to play bump bump coverage uh, because as a competitor I think it's, and, you know you do what you have to do to be successful in, in your beliefs and you you eventually recruit to a system but uh, yeah I like to play press coverage because I think the the corners that are that you want they like to compete and like to get up in a, in a guy's grill and, and figure it out. You generally like to blitz a lot or just uh, game to game matchups? Uh, it, it depends situationally uh, I think you got to pressure though because you, you can't you can't sit back and do the same thing over and at the same time. Uh, if you can line up with, with four and get there with four, you don't want to have to commit people if you don't have to. But you know, to create to create matchups or to create one on ones or to or if you're having trouble getting to the pass, you got to do what you got to do to get there. And how much did you know about what you were selling here before you arrived? Um, some, obviously, in, in coaching for a while, uh, you know what what uh, Penn State stands for, uh, both on and off the field. Uh, so I had a I had a feel for that, uh, but I think the last time I was here was either 1987 or 1988, and you know you just come in, you coach, you play, whatever, and you you win or you lose and you leave. And then, uh, but coming back and, and being around here and getting a feel for really how what Penn State's about, uh, it's it's a very unique place and I think very special. And I've said this, I think there's about seven or eight places in college football that are really like. Wild places, and this is one of those places. What did you read? Or who did you talk to? Or where did you go to get yourself accelerated on that learning curve? Uh, what? Uh, but, well, uh, certainly through uh, Larry and Ron, uh, the, the administrators that that are here, and uh, our, our support staff, everybody that kind of you know had their finger and thumbprint kind of on this program uh, to be able to do that, and you know I, that, that's. And they were all very, very helpful during that process. When you look at the success that Larry and Ron specifically have had with their positions, defensive line linebackers here have been very strong for a long time. How much are you going to be leaning on those guys, especially at the beginning, when because they've already got a lot of the trust of all, all their players? Uh, we'll certainly lean on that. At the same time, uh, you know, we're going to do what what we do, and uh, you know, coach how we coach. And I think that. Uh, I think that we're going to be very successful here. Can you tell us about the road that kind of brought you here from the end of last season? Um, okay. Um, well, you know, I'd been at Auburn the last three years yeah. and uh, had a good run. I, you know, we, the bowl game was the 30th win in three years. Uh, won a national championship, was fortunate enough to be a part of that. And then uh, uh, Coach O'Leary at uh, Central Florida, who I worked with at Georgia Tech, when I worked with Coach O'Brien called me and uh, 
I thought that could have been a, a good move long term uh, with a future, a long term future down there. And then uh, and Coach O'Brien got this job and called me about this one and uh, just couldn't say no, uh, partly because of him and uh, and. Like I said, this is the third school that we've worked together. Yeah. Uh, so that uh, we have a great relationship. Uh, he's my boss, but I also consider him a friend, a good friend. So, um, you know, I just couldn't say no. And then, obviously, with with Penn State, that's that's as strong as it gets as well. How did Coach O'Leary react? Because you guys, the three of you, obviously have a, a relationship. You guys are. Yeah. He was together. great. He yeah. understood. Uh, at the end of the day, he just wants he just wants you to do what's best for you and your family. Now he was disappointed, but uh, you know he certainly understood because it's Penn State, and like I said, he just wants what's best for uh, for us and our families.